Come, stay a while. The two of us have much to discuss, I'm certain. Indeed, Cain. Once again, you were right. The Shard was already in the hands of evil when I arrived. Many laid down their lives to aid us in reclaiming it. Such sacrifice. Each Shard has only fallen into worse hands. It is far past time we were rid of them. Follow me, if you would. Even as small as they are, the shards still radiate a corrupting power. There. It should be safe enough to begin the ritual. Strange. The spell seems to have no effect. It is as if... The stones are resisting! I should have guessed this would not be easy. 
Even the ancient Haradrim worked together when dealing with shards of the World Stone. My friend, I will need you to lend me your strength if we are to attempt the ritual once again. Can I count on you? What must I do? Stand there, outstretch your arms, and focus your mind upon the stones. The rest will be up to me. Are you hurt? I'm fine. But that... that was not supposed to happen. The shards have been irrevocably corrupted by Bale's influence. I'm sorry, but... I am truly at a loss. No. No. Despair will do us no good. There must be an answer somewhere. There always is. But I will need to consult the Herodric texts, and that will take some time. Why don't you go and see Charcy? I know she'll want to hear about how things went in the Dark Wood. Hopefully, by the time you two are finished, I'll know more. Do not lose hope, Cain. I'm sure you will find something. I heard you were back. How was the trip? Exhausting, to say the least. Kasia and the Sisters of the Sightless Eye did ask me to send you their regards. Oh, they're alive! Oh, thank the Great Eye. Oh, it's so good to know they're well. <laughs> and here, I thought I was the one bearing the good news. Remember the Elderith statue in the palace courtyard? Well, your successes inspired the royal mages to activate the second statue. Why don't we take a look? It'll be a nice break from all this world stone stuff. I promise. They call it the Challenge Rift. Apparently it connects to strange realms filled with monsters. Adventurers are already competing with each other to see who's the best at killing the things. That's interesting. So, it's a test of strength, then. Ha! <laughs> Knew that would get you interested. Yeah, sure, you can consider it a test. You can also find some rare materials in there. I've never been inside myself, but it sure brings a lot of people to my forge. 
When you're done, why don't you meet me at the shop? Oh, and if you find anything good in there, don't forget to bring it with you. Chelsea said to meet her at the smithy. Hopefully I wasn't too long.
Good to see you. Hey, look who it is. The challenge rift went well, huh? If you found anything in there you don't need, we can salvage it and use the materials to upgrade your equipment. Nothing wasted around here. Oh, wait, before I forget, I made you something. It's over there on the rack. Consider it my thank you for aiding my sisters. Hopefully it'll help you on whatever adventure you're off to next. Oh, speaking of that, most of Rackus Square is now open for business. All around are useful vendors and merchants. Feel free to take a look. If you don't know what you're looking for, Winton's Market is a good place to start. Be safe, all right? Fighting, I'll do the forging. Welcome, most esteemed patron. Hail and welcome to Winton's Grand Market. Officially certified by Westmarch and a guaranteed fair trading ground. If you wish to buy or sell, we will gladly aid you for the smallest of fees. <laughs> it can't hurt to look. New goods arrive all the time. Adventurer, over here. I think I have a few wares more suited to your skill set. I saw you leaving Winton's place. Perfectly fine if you're looking for jewels and that sort of thing, but I know there's more to being an adventurer than that. I'll trade you for any silver hilts. The coin of the Honorable Knights of Westmarch. Do good around here, earn a few, and your renown will foot the bill with me. Hilts, eh? I'll keep that in mind. If you're interested in browsing what I have available, come find me at the Immortals Overlook. Until then... I should check on Cain. Hopefully he has learned more about the stones. How goes your research? Have you found anything to help us destroy the shards? In fact, I've made quite a breakthrough. Pouring through some of these ancient texts, I uncovered a man who knew more about the World Stone than anyone. One of the original Haradrim, named Zoltan Kool. My ancestor, Jared Kane, documented his experiences with the man quite well. It seems Cool would experiment with soul stones in his spare time. Soul stones? Yes, powerful artifacts intended to house the spirits of the prime evils. Apparently they too were shards of the world stone. But only Zoltan Cool knew of their construction. In the end, he was killed by his Herodric brothers. Accounts differ as to how. But it is clear the Haradrim made quite an effort to expunge his knowledge from the world. Searching the world over for traces of a man who died centuries ago is no small feat. I don't even know what he looks like. The task is arduous indeed. Fortunately, the Haradrim's purge was not as thorough as they believed. I was able to unearth a few records that may help us. There's even a drawing of Cool. If you're curious. The 
Sultan Kul's paranoia may benefit us. It seems he hid a number of archives throughout the world. My research shows at least one of his libraries survived, buried beneath the sands of the Shassar Sea. That's beyond Chaldeum. Yes, it's quite the journey. In order to reach Shassar, you're going to need to book passage on a ship. Take that letter there on the table, and bring it to the captain in the Wolf City Tavern. He'll know what it means. Well done, Kane. I will make my way there at once. It's growing late. I should hurry to the tavern.